fun exercise based on Jimmy Page style, late 60s, early 70s. Uh, he did a lot of songs in the key of E, like uh, Communication Breakdown, How Many More Times, uh, Good Times, Bad Times, uh, Days and Confused. And he played a lot in your E uh, pentatonic area, 12th fret, 15th fret area of the fretboard in the first position. Actually, he did a lot also in the second and the third position. This lesson emphasized a simple triplet run by Jimmy Page, and I'll try to break it down and play it slow and then faster and then add some distortion. Um, a lot of times he would start his run on the fifth note of scale, so in the key of B, it would be on B. Um, learn all your notes, or if you can, that makes things easier. It shouldn't take more than a few weeks. Um, it, it just freaks me out how people don't know their notes or just know a few. Take your time, learn them all, and you can communicate back and forth with other guitar players and bass players and bands and keyboards. Makes things go a lot smoother and quicker. Anyways, here's the uh, triplet. <laughs> okay, I didn't start on the E note on purpose. Jimmy Page actually was kind of clever. Um, like in, let's say, communication breakdown. It's easy to slide to that B on the uh, fifth string, which is your A string, up to the 14th fret. And what he did, what I thought was really clever, he would slide up and rest for a, a beat or two, and then go back down and actually start the triplet exercise on A, and go A, B, D. And then he'd bend uh, that high G note on the 15th fret first string, way up yonder. Um, anyways, so basically, let's try it again. B, get yourself situated, go A, B, D, B, D, 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 G, D, G, A, and go all the way up. So, number-wise, it's on the A string, 12, 14, 12 on the D, 14 on the uh, A, 12 on the D, and 14 on the D. But for me, it's easier to say B, A, B, D, B, D, 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 G, E, G, A, B, A, B, A, B, D, B, D, E, B, E, G, and bend it and slide down. Now I'm going to add a little distortion. I got this old uh, pedal from the 70s. It sounds really cool. This old little clunker. And here we go. And I slid down. Whoops, I got a bad uh, potentiometer here. I'm going to replace the day. Uh, Jimmy Page's style right there, one of a small fraction of the style. But uh, like I said, I thought it was really cool how he knew where to slide and um, calculate uh, a good place to throw a run in as far as the location. I think it sounds more cool that way than starting on E. Um, you know, which would be. It sounds more scaly that way, you know. So it gives it a little more over the edge sound. So that's the lesson for uh, the Jimmy Page triplet run. Um, in the future I'll cover box two. Cover box three. And more Jimmy Pageisms. Um, anyways, he was a good early influence. I like. I thought he was a good player. Thought Hendrix was a good player. Um, nowadays, the list is very long, and it's to the point where it's subjective. Um, you can say Ingbe is a good player. You know, 
But uh, anyways, let's just keep it simple. <laughs>